Hey, Super Duper released something the other night, John, that is um, new and welcome and unique. And that is they released a beta that will clone your M1 Max boot drive into another bootable drive. This is something that has thus far been impossible with any cloning apps. Uh, now, the trick is uh, it's in beta. However, there's another asterisk here, and that asterisk is it requires the 11.4 beta of Mac OS to work. Uh, but there's a utility called ASR uh, that stands for, I'm pulling it up here, App, uh, 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 Apple Software Restore. This is an Apple utility that Apple bakes in with the OS. Up through 11.3, ASR is not compatible with the M1 chip. And because of the way the secure volumes work, with the secure system volume works with Big Sur, you have to use ASR if you're cloning the system volume in Big Sur. And so there was no way to clone that on an M1 Mac if ASR didn't run on the M1. Well, in 11.4 Beta 1, ASR works on the M1 Mac, and so now you can do this. So this is coming. I have no doubt we'll see this from Carbon Copy Cloner and perhaps even others, but uh, there is yeah. another caveat that's worth sharing. I, I put a link to the TMO article about this that Andrew Orr wrote up, but he says um, you can't boot an Intel Mac from an M1 clone or vice versa. However, you can boot one M1 Mac from a clone of a different M1 Mac as long as you authorize it with a user on the Mac you're booting. So that th that security chip in the M1 Max knows about uh, about who you are and you need to you need to authorize it. So um, but regardless of processor, of course, you can still restore using Apple's first boot restore process or obviously migration assistant from anything. So uh, so this is exciting, though. It's good to see that Apple's worked it out. So, yeah, it's good.